Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and I am here today to review a new Arduino kit <clears throat> that I purchased off Amazon. It's the eLego Super Starter Kit Uno R3 Project Kit. Not associated with these guys, they didn't give it to me. I paid my money, I bought my kit. Now what attracted me to this kit was the incredible number of components that came in the kit. It's got a uh, Chinese clone uh, Arduino uh, made by eLego, an Uno R3 clone, and then it just has gobs and gobs of sensors and components. And it's available on Amazon for $35. So at that price, I couldn't resist, and so I got a kit, and I wanted to kind of go over it with you. Can you really get something this cheap that is going to be any good? So the first thing that attracted me to the kit was the low price. The second thing that attracted me to the kit is just the gobs and gobs of uh, sensors that come with it. As I look at this, I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Let's open this thing up, and I'll let you take a look inside. Uh, okay, like I say, the first thing that attracted to me was the low cost. The second thing that attracted me was the gobs and gobs of sensors. And the third thing is it comes in a nice box. And as you know, I teach in high school, and if you don't have something with components to allow you to hold students accountable to stay organized, parts just go everywhere, and very quickly all your components are lost. And so I really like this. has a nice, uh, a nice uh, box with it, and then the, uh, the box has components, and so you can keep things organized. And you can see that this is just really, really packed with sensors. Got some pretty cool ones, like you can see that you've got an ultrasonic sensor, I see a relay in here, I see a stepper motor, a joystick, I see a remote control, I see a DC motor, potentiometers, LEDs, breadboards, uh, all types of different components. And so this has enough to keep us busy for a long, long, long time. Now, the reason I got the kit is you guys know that I have a really popular uh, YouTube series on learning the Arduino. And the thing is, is that I know a lot more now than when I put that series together. And also, I have a much better studio set up. And so I can produce better quality videos where it's easier to see what I'm typing and better audio and all that sort of stuff. So so that YouTube series I did was very popular, but you know, I'm a little embarrassed by the production quality and also there were some mistakes in there. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to redo that series. If you guys are interested in playing along with me, link down below in the description. You can get one of these kits and then follow along. Probably the first five or so videos will be things that you already know, just basically how to install the software, how to make an LED blink, you know, just the very basics of programming. But then as I go, start going into more advanced lessons, I really want to start focusing on some of the components and some of the neat projects you can do with the components that are included in this kit. Okay, now one of the things that you got to be kind of careful of and cognitive of when you are uh, buying one of these Chinese clones is sometimes uh, it's hard to get the driver to work. And on some of the clones that I've bought in the past, you plug it in and there is just not a driver. And it's really hard to get a driver so that the Arduino IDE will recognize the component as a uh, as an Arduino. And so that's one thing before I recommend this that I really want to check. At $35, if there's a couple of things in here that don't work, I'm going to be okay with it. If I can just make sure that that Arduino is going to work without a lot of hassle and trying to get a driver. And so what I am running on my machine is just the latest uh, or close to the latest uh, Arduino software. At this point, it's 1.6.12. Uh, just uh, downloaded directly from the Arduino site, and I have not done anything fancy or snazzy as far as installing drivers. I just downloaded the, uh, the IDE from the, Arduino, uh, from the Arduino site. And so let's get out our Arduino from this kit. And let me switch over here, and uh, let's come over, and maybe I can zoom in a little bit for you. There you go. So let's plug this thing in and see if it is going to recognize it. So we plug it in, and that sounded like a very happy little noise that I heard. And definitely we're getting power to it. I see the thing is powered up, and it seems to have recognized it. But now what we need to do is we need to come over to the Arduino IDE, 
and I need to see if it's recognizing it if I come over here to tools and I come down to uh, port it sees it as uh, COM3 and it recognizes it as an Arduino and so that looks really really encouraging that let's see if I unplug it hopefully that will go away so let's come back to tools and I go to uh, port and that has gone away that COM3 went away and so now I plug it back in happy noise again we come back and we look and it is there okay now what we would want to do is let's get a really simple program and so make sure that we can download a program to it we can go to examples examples basic uh, mouse is hard today and let's go to blink and so this is the simple blink program and let's see if we can download this okay looking down here looks like it's compiling looks like it is happy so far and uh, boom it downloaded and now if we come back and look at the Arduino and we look at this LED that is connected to pin 13 we can see that it's blinking boom okay guys I played around with this you can see that without any work at all we have it up and running and then we have got bukus and bukus of components. I've played around with these components and I've had really, really good luck with them. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a thumbs up and recommend that if you want a really, really good value, an Arduino <clears throat> kit with a whole lot of components that will give you a lot to work with, uh, I definitely recommend this. Give you a little heads up, I also bought a second eLego kit that doesn't have the Arduino but has even more sensors. And I'll do a review on that a little bit later. But again, if you want to play, play along at home with my new Arduino series, go ahead and order one of these kits from the link below. Let me know if you're interested, man. Tell me you're tired of Arduino. You want me to do something else. But uh, unless I get a really negative reaction, I'm going to redo that series. And then again, this summer, I hope to do uh, quite a bit of videos for you. I know it's been a long time since I've done, uh, since I've done very much. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Would love to hear from you below. Love to get your comments. Uh, and again, stay tuned. We'll be getting on those Arduino uh, tutorials really quickly. Paul McWhorter from toptechboy.com. I will talk to you guys.